right, so we're looking at a pour that we did earlier in our video, and I have glued the glass onto here, and you can see, wow, we got some pretty stuff off of this pour. So when I was gluing, I paid uh, uh, careful attention to the fact that if I'm making this a pendant, I want earrings that would be appropriate that match it. So I found a place in the painting to glue these little earrings. And then up here, I got these just in case, just as an extra pair of earrings. But, you know, then over here, I glued this really interesting, cool pendant. And so I got these uh, little rectangle glasses to go as earrings that match those. These will just be extra. Now this smaller rectangle, it's hard to see it because of the glue that got on my fingers. I did find some smaller pieces of glass that will make matching earrings there. And here, there's gonna be a small pendant and another pendant here, another teardrop pendant, which is upside down. So I was able to find two pairs of earrings that go along with these, but you know, it's possible one of these could match, you know, that some people don't wanna be so matchy-matchy. But you can see I got two other pairs of earrings and this will be a either a ring or a snap. And then over here, we've got, you know, other a pendant here, pendant here, and then a pair of earrings, a snap, a snap, or rings. And then I, I was able to get one more pair of earrings. So what happens at this point is this is all dried now, is I will cut this into sections that I can more easily trim. So what I'll try to do is cut them out in groups like this before I start cutting out individually this big hunk of glued, you know, glass. So this is, you know, this is not necessarily earrings that go with that one. I do try to do that if possible, but so this is a set. I'll trim this out and then, you know, I'll come over here and kind of get this group. And there's really not, I don't think there's anything more I'm going to be able to get out of that painting. So I'm not worried about it, but I'm going to cut around the areas where I think, so see, I can cut this little snap piece out individually. And then what I would do is take my, really it's a utility knife, and I'm gonna put some protection on my thumb. I don't cut myself. And then I will literally start cutting away this paint, this extra glue, the extra paint, and the uh, plastic on the back just peels off. That's why we put the painting on that kind of plastic so it would just peel off. And so I just kind of carve away at the excess to where I've got something a lot cleaner as, uh, you know, a trimmed out piece there. So this will go through, you know, a couple more processes by the time we get to the end, but maybe a little more trimming like this, just a little closer, get some of that extra glue off. So it'll fit snug into a setting for a ring or a snap. All right, so this one is a rectangle I've cut away from one of these other chunks. And I'm going to use the scissors a little bit just because it's easier. Right, so I'm going to trim off some of that extra. I'm going to be careful not to get too close. I don't want to, I don't want to break the seal between the glue and the glass. So what I'll do now is just get right up here right on it, and that, now that plastic can peel away. And I'm gonna, what I do is I kind of pull close to the, pushing more this way, away from where it's glued, because I don't want any of that to be compromised, which can happen. And then I'm just, I'm just cutting away. And because it's glass, you know, it's okay. This razor blade is not hurting anything and I'm able to trim away the edge. You can see this glass needs a lot of cleaning. So I may put a first pass on that and just maybe even scrape off some of this glue. But just in a quick, a quick pass, I was able to get most of the extra off this. And then I'll probably do a clean on that before we move on to the next step. 